Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fabulous. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, I'm sharing a project with you for Newton's Nook Designs today, and we are using one of the brand new stamp sets over at the Newton's Nook Design Shop. It is called Puppy Friends. It is adorable. It does have coordinating dies, and I'll be using those to um, die cut out my images today. Um, today's card is just a just because card and I love the little image of this little puppy holding a little daisy in his mouth so sweet so we're just gonna stamp him on some alcohol marker friendly cardstock and then we are gonna um, color in this little guy with Copic markers now I did leave the coloring in it's very very basic um, I just used some warm gray markers and then colored his collar in um, with some oranges and reds but i'll play a little music while i color and then when i'm done coloring i will catch you back Okay, coloring's all done. I die cut this cute little guy out. Love him. Um, we're gonna set him aside and then we are gonna um, stamp our sentiment. For my sentiment today, I'm bringing in the Speech Bubbles die set. And I already have a few cut. Um, some of them are on the back of the package. This one happened to be in the front and it was perfect size. So we're gonna use this to stamp. You are the best. <laughs> I think it's so sweet. Um, originally I was going to stamp in the middle and thought we would, should shift it a little bit depending on where we're going to put it. And I think I'm going to tuck it underneath the doggy. So we're going to um, stamp it a little bit more towards the right here. So our sentiment is good to go. Now I want to create a scene. I haven't did this for a while. I want to create a scene with my backgrounds. So I'm bringing in the cloud stencil and we are using two different shades of oxide inks. Starting off with Mermaid Lagoon. I'm just adding a little bit of cloudy background and then we're gonna switch the colors up and bring in peacock feathers, which is a little bit more teal, a little more green, um, just for a little bit of variant in the, my uh, background here. I'm not gonna go all the way down on my panel. We're actually gonna end up trimming this down, but I think um, the cloudy sky is wonderful. Forgot how fabulous these stencils are. <laughs> okay, this is all good to go. We are going to take the paper trimmer and trim off about an inch and a half, two inches um, off the side. I'm also going to bring in some corrugated cardstock um, and we're going to create a little hillside, add a little texture to a background and corrugated cardstock works perfect for that. Not just for coffee cup cozies. <laughs> so I just use my scissors to create my own little hill here. Okay, next. We are gonna need a sun and some clouds. So I just brought in my blending tool that already had yellow ink on it. Um, this looks like it's mustard seed. I just did a little shading on the paper that I used to die cut out my image. Um, this way I could um, die cut out my sun and some clouds. Um, this is the Sky Scene Builder die set. Love this die set for scene building. I'm gonna cut out a couple clouds uh, three in total, and then also my little sunshine here. 
we're going to run these through the die cut machine and um, we are good to go. The cloud cuts into, or the sun cuts into two pieces, which I like. I like to pop up that center one, but I am going to add a little bit of orange to my sunshine just to give it a little bit of dimension. Um, I just grabbed my orange dauber, probably has dried marigold or something or other on that, but bring in your orange inks to just do a little shading to your yellow ink. Okay, once my paper is trimmed, I want to put a frame around my little scene. So to do this, I wasn't. I after I cut it, I thought, oh goodness, I don't even know what size the inside of my frame is. <laughs> so we better die cut out that. Um, I was going to use the postage edge for the background. Thought not. We we have enough layers. So I'm just bringing in the second two largest frames. One's an inside scallop frame, and then the other one is outside. I'm layering them together, and I think this will create a nice little frame for our scene. We're going to die cut this out with white cardstock, just evenly space them and um, run them through the die cutting machine. And I think I got lucky because it's going to cover it perfectly, but it doesn't leave me very much room with that inside frame. So I'm just going to remove it so I have just the scalloped edge frame. I'm going to go ahead and trim down my corrugated cardstock. Uh, my heel was just a little bit too tall. Then we're going to go ahead and attach our frame to it. I like doing it this way because I can flip over the entire thing and add foam adhesive behind it. I'm popping it up all at once. Just makes it easier and more stable. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and trim down the top portion of my cloudy background. And then we'll add adhesive behind our cloudy background and go ahead and directly adhere that to our card base. I'm using a standard A2 size card base for my card today. I'm trying to make sure it's perfectly centered because I don't have much wiggle room. I, I cut it very close to the edge here. So, and I know once it's down, it's going to be down for good. <laughs> okay, that's good to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my clouds, add a little adhesive behind my frame and tack these clouds behind it. And then we're going to, I know I die cut out three clouds, but we're just going to use two. Kind of a small area for a scene but it's going to be filled in really good <laughs> I, i'm going to go ahead and attach my sun also behind that upper cloud just the outline of the sun rays um, this way that's adhered to and when i did that i made sure that some of those sun rays were hitting the front of the frame that's going to give it stability too while i added foam adhesive behind it which i already did <laughs> we'll just tack that down and then we have our little sunshine piece. I wasn't sure if I wanted to put this on the outside of the cloud or if I wanted to put it on, um, tuck it behind the cloud. And I think what we're gonna do is put it on the outside. And I made sure that the orange on the middle of the sun was to the right and then the orange on the sun rays was to the left. Just makes it a little more full. I went ahead and popped up my little guy, my little dog and added him and then I added my uh, speech bubble with the sentiment. I ended up pulling out that cloud that was pretty close to where the um, speech bubble was and then we're going to put it towards the top of our scene. It just kind of flowed a little bit better. Okay, I'm looking at my, my scene here and I think we're just missing something. So in the stamp set there is this little cute little dog. He is playing with a little turtle, which I think is so adorable. And the turtle is actually separated from the dog, so he's not quite touching it. So when I die cut out my first image, um, I didn't separate the dies. I'll do that later. But um, I did um, die cut out the um, just the the white cardstock. So it worked out perfect. I stamped the image, colored in my little turtle, and then used the scissors to fussy cut the rest of it out. Um, I just did a couple little snips and it worked out perfect. For bells and whistles, I am adding a little dot of diamond um, stickles to the center of my flower. It was a daisy. I left the petals white, just highlighted it with my C1 marker. Um, and then I'm going to take my journey glaze, which is like a glossy accents. I'm going to go over the nose of my pup and then also the shell of my little turtle. And then that finishes off my card today, guys, using the Newton's Nook designs. So sweet. It's called Puppy Friends. And I just think it's adorable. Great. Um, 
just because card. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Have a fabulous day, and we'll, we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.